Hey everyone, I want to make this video because I want to share my experience on how I passed the FE, the PE, and the FS all on the first try. Hope this reaches the right audience. If you're a civil engineer or you're looking to take the FE in civil, or the FS, which are if you're a surveyor, and the PE in transportation. For all those that don't know, if you take the PE in civil, um, in the three disciplines, geotech, water, or transportation, it covers, you don't need to do the other two. With that said, let's get right into it. Number one, all of these exams are kind of formatted the same. They're computer-based testing, CBT. Take the FE, the PE is gonna be looking similar. Um, of course, the questions and content will be different, but the format of the exam is pretty much the same. So I think the best thing to do is kind of get used to that format. Um, take a practice test for sure. Uh, that's what I did for all three of the exams. I did practice exams, it's all the free ones I could get. You can pay for them, but most likely you can find online if the few Google searches or just add Reddit to the end of it. And then number two, you gotta utilize like the official resources that are given, that will be given to you on the exam. With the FE, you will have the reference manual and that will have basically everything you need to know. Although the FE is very broad, most of the time I was able to find somewhat of a hint in the reference manual. So make sure you do, when you do the problems, use the reference manual. As for the FS, same kind of thing. You can only use the reference manual. Along with, um, for the FS, there was certain things, like there was um, additional references. Make sure you download those and find them online. Um, in, this, in this video, I'm gonna have all of the things I use in a link in the description because I want to share and make sure everyone can pass these exams. They're hard, they're difficult, and I want to do my part to help. And as for the PE, it's a little bit more. Um, you have multiple references and your um, reference hand handbook will also help, but the references are very vast. Uh, at least for transportation, I think there was 13 and each for like 600 pages. So yeah, that's, it's, it's a lot, but make sure you utilize the official resources and don't reutilize stuff that you found online. Make sure you using the right stuff and make sure the additions even match too. Cause if you use the second edition and the exam uses the third, somehow or some way you might not know where to look for something and that could kill your precious time. Next thing, and this is important for all three, is use practice problems. Like make sure you understand the content of course, but I think there's something to be said about just doing practice problems repeatedly and repping them out. It's like the gym. You gotta do like a ton of reps, get that mind muscle connection and just rep it out so like for that fee i did about 100 problems before i took it and passed the fs same thing 100 problems and for the pe i did about 600 problems and that was over the course of two months but i was studying like two to three hours uh the last four weeks or the last three weeks so it was two to three hours every day um that really sucked because the problems would take me like 15 to 20 minutes um and they just took a while like I could, one practice or one day would be like 20 questions of studying and it sucked but it really did help me prepare and the best thing is like these exams are, aren't cheap and the review courses aren't cheap either Motiv my motivation was if i don't pass this i have to pay for this again so use that mindset okay number four you need to simulate exam conditions for the FE and FS, maybe this isn't really that important. Um, you know, just take it without using notes. would be my best bet for those. But for the PE, it's an eight hour exam. I honestly did, I went to a Starbucks at like 11 a.m. Uh, on a Saturday and I stayed there <laughs> till they like closed, basically until like nine. I, it really helped me because I didn't use my phone, turned off my phone, shut off my iPad, and I was just doing I had my laptop up and I was just doing a practice exam. And that really helped because my anxiety and stress were a little bit lower because I was, was more familiar. And that's, that's like honestly your best bet. And I only used reference manual uh, materials. So what I knew is what I knew. And then lastly, the fifth kind of tip I'd have to say is review your weak areas. So after you do all these things, maybe you have a week before, a couple days, be like, hey, I really suck at this one, one topic hammer hard at problems that you can. And if it's still 
doesn't work if you're like the last day you're like i don't know remember skip these pro like skip the problems you don't know and then flag them and go back to them because you have a 25 percent chance of getting it right and then if you can read the question a little bit you might have a 50 percent chance you need to get above a 70 percent it's not confirmed there's a whole pencil neck analytical thing about these exams but in my head I need to get above a 70 and I'll pass. Really just doing these five things really help. For closing remarks, I definitely think you do need to put a lot of time and effort into studying for these, but you should do it in the most optimal way so you don't waste your time. You don't waste your family's time, your loved one's time by just like shutting yourself in and then not studying in a correct way. Um, because I've seen it with my friends and some people online. Uh, they studied for six months and failed but they weren't doing the right things, which kind of sucks. And like I said earlier, all relevant documents or any information for these three exams, I have in a Google Docs and a shared link below. I don't know if I can fully have everything on there. I'm expecting to get 19 views from this video, but if it helps one person, I think that's all that matters. So thank you for watching and yeah, stay tuned.